season for farmers across Central Virginia, but two farmers in Surrey County are growing something rarely seen in the Commonwealth. And his latest I Have a Story, Greg McQuaid and photographer Cole Pearson show us how one couple wishes they never had to plant this crop. We're here at Drury Farms. Nestled in the heart of Surrey County. The farm is a little over 400 acres, a little over 200 in cultivation. Miles away from big city bustle and hustle. Mm. Come here. Michael hey, and Amy Drury hey, take pride working their land. To do this, you really got to think of it as a total lifestyle, not really work. From sun up to sundown. This is nothing more than ground corn and a little soybean in it. So. But she loves it, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> the Drury's to-do list is long. We love animals. My husband loves animals, and he feels like it's not a real farm unless there are animals on the farm. Come here, girl. Rosie, this is Rosie Cow. Uh, family milk cow. <laughs> so. From nurturing newborns. And that's our first calf. To selling strawberries. Our quality of life is really high. We pretty much eat off the farm. An attorney by trade, Michael is shouldering centuries of family tradition. Work all the time. But it's, I don't call it work. <laughs> this is my golf. <laughs> His ancestors have been farming in this area since the 1600s. My favorite building on the farm, this is my man cave. It's the smokehouse and it's been here for a couple of hundred years. Farm life has its advantages, especially during a pandemic. We uh, isolate most days anyway. But the impact of COVID weighs heavy on Michael and Amy. We are such a small rural community that we know people who have died from COVID. This spring, the Drury's are growing a different crop. When you see it laid out on a scale like this, then it becomes real. One seed this couple has never sown before. Every one of these flags represents a family grieving, um, a person lost. Michael and Amy started cultivating a couple of acres in December. What I did was I would put the flag down and I would think, okay, this was a mother. And then I'd place another flag and I'd go, this was somebody's father. Right along Route 31 for all to see, sadness is sprouting. As the pandemic drug on, we felt like we just couldn't sit around and do nothing. Their field of flags is yielding depressing gains, a vivid reminder of the Virginians lost. As I'm planting a flag, I remember that this is a person who got sick, that had a family, they went to a doctor, that nurses nursed them through their illness, and the, unfortunately, an undertaker put them in the ground. Every flag. With the Commonwealth's COVID death toll topping 10,000, the Drury's stay busy. This county is not very big, but the nine victims, I know them all. Every few weeks, Michael and Amy add a few more rows. So the first thing that comes to my mind is I turn in the driveway and I go, gosh, it's pretty, all those pretty colors. And then I, it comes to my mind that each one of these waving flags is a person. Their pasture of silent sentinels in full bloom. The effort is worth it. It is one crop these farmers never hope to harvest again. That is a lot. It's too many. It's too much. The field of flags will be fluttering for a few more weeks. If you'd like to see the memorial in person, Drury Farms is located at 541 Strawberry Lane in Wakefield. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.